Let's leave it. Give me what I ask you. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. God said to the Moses, to Moses, tell the nation of Israel, make sure they put what? Fringes. Fringes. That's in the law, brother. Go ahead. In the borders of their garments. In the border of the garment. This so is the border of the garment. The Go ahead. No more. Oh. Throughout their generation. I told you no the more. devil gonna come out of him. Trust me. The, the devil, you remember? How I just said that. Who is all? Yeah, go ahead. Read, brother, read. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Let's move again to the media. He's a liar. Give me Matthew 5 and 9. Let's start it. Let's start. Remember what he just said. We're not under the law no more. Remember he said. Remember. Remember what he just said. Him and the other devil just come in. Listen to this. Listen to what the law said. Why said what? That's right. I didn't I when I said we're not under the law because what Christ just telling you Read it again, brother. He died. He came and died. I have come to destroy the law. What is the word destroy, brother? If we were still under the law, that means that you have explain to... Explain what what I, just said, brother! But I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not a... But explain right. it! Can I just say this? Say what? Can I speak? What? What? Can I? Read what the Bible yeah, I mean, said. I'm not trying to argue. No, I'm not. Listen what the argue. Bible said. Christ said he did not come to destroy the law. You saying that, that we've been saying under, the not under the law. I'm saying we're not under the law no but more. But what just because what you said? Jesus died. Because he died for us. Sister, help that brother here. Oh, 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 all your peace, the Old brother. Testament is gone. All it's, your peace, we, it's gone. It's gone what? now. Cause we under, we under Jesus now. We under grace because of His blood. In Acts two and thirty eight, it said, "Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, okay. for the remission of sins, okay. and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost." Okay. This is the saving method. All that stuff about the law, mm -hmm. but now we're not under the law. What law? Now we're under the grace of God because Christ, because Christ of what? Hold on, mother. Hold on. All right, got you. Because of His blood, because we wash, we bury with Him in baptism, gotcha. and we got. He took on him. Okay. Peace. Oh, 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 all your peace, the Old brother. Testament is gone. All oh, your it's, peace, we, it's gone. It's gone it's, now. Peace. The Old oh, oh, all your peace, the Old brother. Testament is gone. All oh, your peace, we, it's gone. It's gone now. Peace. The Old oh, oh, all your peace, the Old brother. Testament is gone. All oh, your peace, we, it's gone. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders. The elders, the elder bishops, and the other elders scattered abroad, uh, your brethren, your few sisters, and your followers of the truth. I want to go in this video here real quick, if I can. Uh, in light of what's been happening with Christians coming against Hebrew Israelites and um, the uh, craziness of uh, doctrines and uh, them trying to keep us oppressed. And that uh, those Christian churches, right? And we can clearly see by these Christians how they think and how they teach is one of the primary reasons, one of the real reasons of our of our um, our stay in captivity mentally as well, the spiritual captivity. See, as long as we continue down the course that this man laid out in his entertainment, right, in his judicial system, in his penal system, right, this is what happens to us. And this is all because these guys, these Christians will say, you don't have to keep the law. That is the worst thing that you can tell any holy person 
who's holding the Bible. And now, of course, we don't teach what IUIC teaches on some levels where they are strictly about the law and proof. It's already proven that the law cannot really save us, but the first commandment will. Right? So I'll go into a couple scriptures. You know, this is unbelievable that this Christian has literally said the Old Testament is done away with. Although it's sitting there in the Bible. <laughs> Can you believe that? Uh, but they can't break down Genesis 1 and 1. Well, they probably can now because they've studied and learned under us. They're even going into blue letters now. But they'll still twist it and make it their own doctrine. He says the, law, the Old Testament is just done away with. The God of the Old Testament. So the Most High is a, has a multi-personal personality disorder. When Apostle Paul said he's not an author of confusion. Malachi 3 and 6 says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. And we'll go into the mercy and the grace because obviously we are put in this captivity and we can't keep the whole law, right? Anyway, um, he says, um, the Christian says, and even I, I see, I believe that, I think they teach that we're in the new covenant. They don't understand time, you know, when you're dealing with time, okay? When Yahweh Shah, the one you call Jesus, said he come to fulfill the law, dying on a cross, or the crooks, as I say, it's part of it. That's not a complete fulfillment. Because once you've fulfilled, you're finished. And we'll get into that too. So, this Christian says we're covered under the blood of Jesus. So, Jesus died, Yahweh Shah died on a cross, which the elect is covered. All of Israel ultimately will be delivered. But we still went into captivity as Israelites, which means the fulfillment hasn't been completely fulfilled. We'll get into that too. Uh, so let me get some scriptures real quick. Um, let's go to Romans 12 and 1. This is um, Romans 12 and 1, Apostle Paul. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, meaning to call out, uh, okay, to the churches, right? By the mercy of, of God that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, separate, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Going out every week, we're doing these videos, we're not thinking of the world, we're doing things that's going on in the world that uh, everybody hates of us. So this is why, when you go to, let's go to, um, Matthew 16 and 24. Then said Jesus, Yahawashah, unto his disciple, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross, which is suffering or affliction, and follow me. So these Christians got it just all laid out. We're covered under the blood of Jesus. Don't worry about it. We ain't got to do nothing. We ain't got to follow no laws. All we got to do is have grace. And the deacon, I believe Deacon Iathan uh, of, of IUIC, he said, well, what do you got to do? I mean, if what is it that you have to do being under grace? Basically, so what? Now that you are under grace, it's all right to do whatever it is you want to do? So the guy said, well, we've got to turn back from what? And he kept saying, turn back from what? And he was trying to get him to say from sin. Right? There's a portion of that of IUIC is correct on. Right. We have to turn to the best of our ability, back from sin, right? But these guys, according to the Christian church, is saying that as long as you believe in the Jesus, I never really understood that. I kind of didn't even understand it. Faith without works is dead. See, it goes hand in hand. If you have faith, you will have works, right? If you have works, you will have faith. And some some people have works without faith. Some people have faith without works. But you can't have works. You can't have faith without the works. Because you're going to do the best you can according to the scriptures. That's why that is quoted in James, the second chapter, I believe. 
Anyway, let's go further to the lesson. Uh, let's go to Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am come not to destroy but to fulfill. But Because you, you had men that was coming to saying he come to change everything and uh, switch everything up. He says, for verily I say unto you, till heaven earth pass, one jot or one tittle, okay, uh, shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled, right? Why did he say till all be fulfilled? Now, him dying on the cross was part of it. There's more to that. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, right? So now we're going into commandments. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Well, let's go to one of the commandments. Let's go to Mark 12 and 30. It says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God in all thy heart, with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. You Christians are in violation of the first commandment. You will be counted, if you don't repent, and come back to your heritage, your nationality, right? And you don't repent, you will be counted, counted least in the kingdom. Okay? This is why this all creature, this, I was going to say creature, this preacher, <laughs> this preacher has also said that, um, that everyone can come to repentance. Well, technically that's not in the scriptures. It says all can come, but when you read uh, uh, Matthew, uh, was it 13 and 9, he spoke in parables, and he said it's to them, talk to the disciples. It is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but to them it's not given. Right? So those people are back that is not given. There's some who just ain't going to get it. It wasn't meant to get it. Right? So, anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. Let's go to, when is, what's going to fulfill Matthew 5 and 17. What it means to fulfill in the blue letter. Let's see what it says. G4137. <clears throat> Let's see what it says. G4137. It's a lot on this. To render full. Right? To make complete in every particular. To render perfect. Right? This is why Matthew 5 and 48 says. Be ye therefore perfect. When you look up that word. It really means to be fulfilled. I mean to be complete. Because the Lord is going to make us perfect. Okay. Uh, it says to carry out. To carry through to the end. Carry through to the end to accomplish. To carry out. You really think the Lord died on that cross. And that was just it. Okay I died on the cross. My enemies got me. And that's it. That's why he says sit on my right hand. Until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So that's it. He died on the cross. And we ain't got to worry about nothing. That's faithless, really. You don't have faith unless you uh, continually believe and, and try to do the best of your ability. You should be keeping the Passover. You should be keeping the Sabbath. You should be following the commandments. All these things to the best of your ability. These guys need an excuse to sin. They want an excuse. See, that's the worst thing that could have happened. Well, I guess the, uh, a great thing that happened to certain people because they weren't meant to get it. Why would you follow a doctrine? Even on this man's job, he don't believe that. He's got rules and regulations on every job you go to. And he has, and he states these, these rules in these legislations for you to complete tasks so you can help the business run or grow. To carry out into effect, Right? Of sayings, promises, prophecies to bring to pass, to accomplish. Okay? Um, the promise, uh, it says right here, to fulfill, to cause God's will as made known in the law, to be obeyed as it should be. God's promises given through the prophets to receive fulfillment. This is where we at. So it says to all be fulfilled. It's not all fulfilled yet. Okay. Let's go to Matthew. Um, let's go back to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew 25. And let's go to 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory. And all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations. 
and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth the sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, okay, and the goats on his left. You have to understand when Yahweh died and went to the spirit world, right? It's only been two days, right? It's only been two two thousand years. The day of the Lord is a thousand years. Let's get further proof. Let's get further proof because uh, this these scriptures. See, you can't think that okay, he died, he fulfilled the law. Now we all free. <laughs> this is what they're saying. We all free. In a perspective that the Most High set the elect up is already set up and the Israelites uh, will be saved but right now we're on the Lord's time you guys are thinking like you Christians you thinking like you on you on your time okay he died on the cross that's it we all saved now we're saved by the blood of Jesus how the hell you know if you saved anyway let's go to Revelation one and seven. Behold, he cometh in clouds, talking about the one you call Jesus, Yahweh. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So, you mean to tell me he died on the cross and fulfilled everything, but yet he still got more work to do? When you finish a job and you fulfill a task, it's completed. You don't go back on that task to try to recomplete it again. It says, And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, right? I am the Alpha and Omega, even so I'm on. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, the Lord, uh, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. So you're dealing on the Lord's time. So you can't say since you, he died on the, uh, on the cross, you're covered in the blood of Jesus and that's it. Now we got to keep no laws. We ain't got to, we can shave. We can do what we want because you know what? We're under grace. You know what that's like? That's like a child in school. Who has a test, and, it, and it, uh, the teacher tells him, the teacher tells he he, he or she uh, to do the best you can, because it's, you're going to have a grace period, and you got to just do the best you can. But you decide, I ain't got to do it. We got grace. We ain't got to worry about. It. Don't open the text. Just mark the answers down with what you want. In fact, let's just shut the book and put our head down on the desk. Why? Because we under grace. Let's go to Romans six. I don't know a better way to explain it. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are under the law, but under the grace. But under grace. What then shall we sin? Now we look at the word, you know what sin is. Sin is the transgression of the law. Shall we sin because we are not under law, but under grace? Yahweh forbid. Right? So you're not supposed to willfully sin. True, uh, we cannot keep the whole law. And we've had these debates with IUIC on this thing with the law. Okay, so one of those references in Fulfill, let's go to um, G4137. This is interesting. G4137 is G4134. Okay, well, let me say uh, 4138, Salakia. 37, It says. This is fulfillment, a part of the, the uh, reference to fulfill. It says, a ship, in as much as it is filled. Talking about filling a ship. This is why he said, come bid to the marriage. Right? And bring in the, uh, the elect. It says, with sailors, rowers, and soldiers. Right? In the New Testament, a body of believers, as that which is filled with the presence, power, agency, riches of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh okay, that which is filled or will fill thing or a thing that is filled. So the fulfillment is going to come when Yahweh Shah uh, uh, 10 and 34, Matthew 10 and 34, say, I come not to send peace on earth. So what are these Christians talking about? Of those things which is which a ship is filled, freight and merchandise, sailors, or oarsmen, soldiers completeness of fullness of time fulfilled its abundant abundance a fulfillment a keeping so you know what came to my mind right away is the most high in those chariots coming to deliver his elect and and uh do what he's going to do and destroy babylon right aka this place 
So anyway, I just found that interesting um, looking at this video. Um, even with IUIC, you know, we don't particularly, we don't hate them. You know, we will get on them for going off and they do go off. But uh, if they do something, you know, righteous, we'll say, hey, they went in on, a, on that Christian man. And then uh, his mother, whoever it was, she just got up and left. She didn't want to deal with it. And he tried and he stood there. But when you go to the Mark 12 and 30, I believe as I read before, if you love the Lord God with all your heart, you are supposed to love him with your heart, your soul, and your mind, and all your strength. That is the first commandment. You, can't, you Christians are in violation of the first commandment. That's all I have on that, Shalom.